until you're walking without the boot. You feeling all right? Very. Were you worried? I mean, you know, with all those examinations, what were you feeling those that week? I mean, you know, getting combed over with a, a fine tooth comb, you always got some worries in your mind, you know, it's happened twice before. But, you know, came out of it pretty well. Right after the accident, was there was there some pain there, or was it like the next day? Or? I mean, not really, just because your know, adrenaline's flowing after the accident. I was just, you know, so worried about everybody getting out safe and everything just being all right. I really didn't feel it until, I mean, it was that day, but it was a long time after. What was that like? I mean, it sounded like a scary accident. Like that guy kind of came out of nowhere. Well, I mean, I'm just driving and something unexpected happened. You know, just I'm, I feel blessed to come up out of it. So later that day when you felt something, did you, what was your kind of your thought? I mean, I mean, after all you've been through, that had to be kind of. Well, I mean, like I said, when I came down from my adrenaline, I mean, a lot of things were just sore and bruised up, you know, because it was an accident. But I mean, I, re I really, really nothing was going through my mind. It was just, I was shocked, you know. Coach Mills talks about bringing you along slowly. Do you feel like you can go out there and practice right now? Or how far away are you? I mean, I always tell my, I always want to tell myself that I can go out there and practice right now. But uh, I mean, just being smart about the situation, going slow would be the best thing for it, and make sure I'm 100 percent for the season, so we can have a good one. Does it kind of give you a new appreciation for football and everything? Just you know, coming out of that okay when it was so close. Overall, it's gave it's given me a new appreciation for everything. I mean, life in itself is just everything is everything is precious, man. Uh, Houston's kind of raved about you this off season, your attitude, your approach to this senior year. Um, knowing this is kind of your last hurrah and what you're playing for, that kind of thing. What's it? Uh, what's your mindset, man? I love it, man. It's you know, I got teammates that I've been with for four years. I'm in a place that I've been happy in for four years, and I'm playing a game that I love. So I mean, I don't think it gets no better. Anything else? In, in terms of your uh, your overall health, I mean, outside of the accident, what kind of what kind of shape are you in? In terms of you know, I know because you missed spring and some of that while you recovered from surgery. What kind of shape are you in going into the year? I wouldn't say a great shape, but I'm in good enough to, you know, come back. I've been running with the team a little bit, you know, before the accident, getting back into shape. I ran my 100s good. I ran my 110s good. I came up with the team, was ahead. I feel good about myself. So what are you doing now? Are you back on the underwater treadmill and stuff like that, or what are you able to do? Yeah, that worked well the first time. Kept me in a whole lot of shape. Was able to come back and run with the team, so I'm going to keep with, keep with that approach. Stick with that the next couple days, then. I mean, I guess what's the. Yeah, play it by ear, you know, see what it feels like. Good if you